I guess I was really fortunate that my family life was just full of activity and whether that was playing sport after school at clubs or whether it was being dragged out no matter what the weather by my parents for cliff top walks it was just a really big part of our lifestyle and it's something that I've taken into my adult life recreationally and I was really really fortunate to be able to take it into my professional life as well. It sounds all sort of romantic, but it is, it is amazing. It sets you up for a life where you just love doing things. You love getting involved and being active. The way it makes you feel, I think, is really special. And I'm a big advocate for that. Yes, it's, it's given me the amazing experience of, of going to to Olympic Games, but it's also given me the opportunity to be able to travel to places like this and see things and do things and, and have a life that I feel is just Little, that little bit more fulfilled. I think if you're right at the start of your fitness journey, even though it feels to you the most daunting, I actually think it's the most exciting. Because from that place where you're looking to get active, that's where your life is the most transformed. Maybe go open water swimming, go and be bold and hire a paddle board, do something that's just a little bit different and you'll find the thing that you love. I think that, yeah, you might be scared sitting on the cusp of knowing that you'd like to try something and you'd like to get a bit fitter or lose a bit of weight or get a bit stronger. But I think turn that into excitement and think, how could I feel tomorrow when I've tried it, in a week when I've sort of got used to it, and in a year where I'm this person who's experienced something new and now has adopted it as part of my lifestyle. I think it's, it, it's a really exciting place to be. So I know for me as a competitor, I would wake up in the morning feeling absolutely shattered from the day's training before. And it would be dark. You'd know that often you'd have to break the ice to put your boat on the water. You'd know that you're in for a day of horrible, painful training. And something I did was I woke up and I thought, right, while I've been asleep, my main rivals in New Zealand had an amazing training day. My rivals in America, are probably training right now. I need to get up and train better than them. As a fitness enthusiast now, I've adopted a, a similar a similar mindset. I've kind of thought, okay, that Olympian me had had one goal, but I know that if I get up and if I train and if I'm active, I know how great I'll feel. But if I get to the evening and I haven't done it, I'll probably wish I had. I love the fact that we're embracing the active lifestyle because I love wearing my active wear and I will get up in the morning and put on my gym clothes. Usually it's in the hope that I'll make it to the gym with Logan being around but I think it's something that people are getting really excited by. You know there are so many campaigns that are big big movements to get people active and I'm just a huge advocate for it and you, you see it really working. People are getting healthier, happier and starting to find what they love. That's the really crucial thing with this whole thing. It shouldn't be torturous and painful if you don't want it to be. It can be something that you love. And what I find most exciting is when I meet people who say, I was in my 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, when I found this, and now I do it every week or every day. And I love it and it's made me feel better about myself. And that's, that's really powerful. This place is kind of like heaven for me because <laughs> everything is on your doorstep. But the amount of times I've turned around to my mum today and said, oh, my dad would like that. Oh, my brother would love this bit. And there, there really is something for, for everyone. To be able to wake up and uh, stretch by the pool and then join in an aqua fit session. We can go from a leisurely day by the pool to a knock on the tennis courts. There's a lovely feel that nothing about any of those things across any of those age groups is particularly intimidating and I know that's strange but actually I think that sometimes sport and fitness can be intimidating and to go to a place like this which is just set up to make it achievable. You, know, you walk out your door and, and there's an opportunity for you to try something new or for you to try something that you love back at home but to do it in this beautiful setting it really kind of does have everything and, and it does help that it's beautiful sunshine as well. <laughs>